what happens if you permanently take off the sensing bulb from the TXV or from the line? Uh, kill compressor. That's the, the short answer of that. Then what you're doing is you're trying to fool, by doing that, they're really fooling the TXV. And the TXV is trying to monitor not only that suction line temperature, but also the suction pressure. And it's trying to control the amount of superheated vapor. If we know how much superheat we have, we know that we have the right amount of refrigerant in the coil and the right amount of vapor to that vapor pump. That compressor needs to breathe in a superheated vapor. So if we take that suction, that bulb off, the sensing bulb off that line, it's reading a higher temperature. So the TXV is looking at the pressure in that higher temperature and it says, man, my superheat's too high. So the TXV opens and lets more refrigerant in that evaporator coil. Now, if you're just looking at the delta T across that evaporator, you're thinking, oh, it's working better. There's more refrigerant in there, more refrigerant changing state. It's cooling better. And if you're only looking at that, that's true. But the problem is your superheat drops off very quickly, very sharply, and you end up getting a saturated vapor liquid mixture to the compressor. And that compressor is a vapor pump. Now we got liquid coming into it. And it's either going to get into the pumping action of the compressor and kill it immediately, or more than likely, it's going to actually wash the oil away from the bearings. And as that compressor is running, it washes the oil from those moving parts, and the bearings start going bad, and it causes long-term damage. So I hear technicians say, well, I do that all the time, and I've never had an issue. You don't see the issue but the issue is there and the customer is going to have to be paying for it. So you could look at this a couple different ways. One, you could look at it where they say, can I permanently remove the sensing bulb? Meaning like cut off the line. And of course, no. And so if you did that, then you're not going to have any opening force on the TXV. And so it's going to have a high superheat and it's going to be starving, uh, starving the evaporator cool for refrigerant. And you're going to have a extremely high superheat. And that's also not going to be good for the compressor life either. So if you just disconnected the bulb from the, the vapor line, which may have been anywhere from, say, 32 degrees to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, or it just depends on the heat load inside the building at that point in time, when you remove that, well, now it's removed and it's sitting maybe within a 70 degree inside of the building, right? If it's in a closet, if it's up in the attic, maybe it's 120 degrees up there. And so, like you said, it's going to apply more opening force on the, the head of the TXV and it's going to allow more liquid refrigerant in because it thinks that there's a crazy high heat load, meaning the, the temperature of the air crossing that indoor coil and the TXV's job is to maintain superheat, not to maintain the vapor pressure. 